Washington. Come on, boy. Finally, after adding Halo 4 to the Master Chief Collection on PC, 343 has finished bringing all the games to that platform. That includes Halo Reach, Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3, ODST, and obviously, Halo 4. You can choose to buy these separate or as a bundle, and it's also available through the Xbox Game Pass. There have been a series of improvements for the console family, including the Xbox Series X and S enhancements, being able to go up to 4K and 120 FPS. You can also change the field of view settings, which is a huge win for the console platforms. Crossplay was also added, as well as input-based matchmaking for multiplayer on both the Xbox and PC. There has been much complaining about input device and the balance between them, so this is a good addition for those who want to grind out the game against others using the same input method. They have added new armor customization and weapon skins, as well as a new season where there is over 70 plus new customization choices, including nameplates, weapons, and vehicle skins for Halo 3, and weapon skins for Halo 4. One of the best additions I think for adding to the player population in certain games and modes is the addition of weapon skins that can be unlocked by reaching a certain level in a ranked playlist. Last season, you could earn the sniper rifle camo for Halo 3 by reaching level 20 in the recon playlist. This season, by playing the squad battle mode in Halo 4, you can unlock a DMR skin and a battle rifle skin at ranks 15 and 25 respectively. Creating reasons to play different game modes is something that I think is very important for Halo, both in the MCC and in Infinite. The Season Pass has also been well received from what I can tell, and one of the best features is that you're able to have the past seasons available to unlock even if a new season has started. Obviously, I don't know if this will be how it is in Halo Infinite, and I don't think it's too common in the industry right now to have these past battle passes available still, but I think it's a quite nice addition and respects players. If I had to guess though, this will not be the case with Infinite. Although I never had a problem finding matches in the game modes that I enjoyed, the addition of crossplay is a huge win for the Halo community. The ecosystem is now better than ever, with the additional population of console being able to play against the PC crowd. Friends being able to play with each other without having to worry about what platform they are on is one of the highlights of the past few years in gaming, and I'm happy to see Halo has been able to implement it in the MCC. I have not experienced any lengthy queue time since the update, and quite honestly, it just works. One of the things that I'm looking forward to the most in the future is the addition of a game browser. Being able to search fun game modes and match with people instantly without having to get a whole party on of just friends will be a huge win for the community. 343 has stated that they hope to have a flight of this by the end of December, which is happening literally right now which would be amazing, you know, if they can get it out in the next update. What 343 has accomplished with the Master Chief Collection since the launch has been, well, somewhat incredible. After launching in a disastrous state, 343 has constantly been trying to work on fixing it, and I can't imagine the undertaking it took to be able to port it over to the PC side of things, if what we've learned about how difficult it was to even get it on the consoles with all the different engines and whatnot, that plagued the MCC in the beginning. I have been able to introduce friends that have never played Halo before to a series and franchise that has had a rebirth of sorts and is being enjoyed by new fans every day. I think this is one of the most important things that Halo has going for it right now after the delay of Infinite. The Halo ecosystem will be much better off now that the Master Chief Collection has almost been completely finished as there are still a few things left to be added hopefully, all before Infinite releases. Let me know in the comments down below if you are enjoying your time on the Master Chief Collection and what your favorite part of the updates has been. As always, stay frosty.